Hi, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and before we get started on this video tutorial for the Facebook share button, I just want to go over these five points with you real quickly. Number one, the demonstration blog I'm using uses WordPress version 3.0.4 along with the thesis theme version 1.8. Eight. And point number two, you do not need to be using the thesis theme or any particular theme in order to use the Facebook Share button. Point three, the plugin name is Share Count for Facebook, and I'm using version 0.9.2. You'll need to know that name when you look it up at WordPress.org. Point four, this plugin is not in any way related to the SFC simple Facebook Connect plugin that I talk about in other videos. Okay, let's get started. So right now we're at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. You can see the URL up here is just Jim's Max GXL Team. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm see this little retweet tweet meme button down here that's green. We're going to add a button that looks almost just like that except it's going to be for Facebook so that people can share say this particular blog post on their own Facebook wall so let's get started I'm gonna click on this tab here and it brings me to the dashboard of Jim's Max JXL marketing team where I've already logged in and we're just gonna scroll down till we get plugins is that little down arrow there we're gonna click on add new and we're just going to here under install plugins we're going to search for the plugin we want which is share count for Facebook and then I'm just going to click on search plugins and that brings me right here you can see share count for Facebook version 0.9.2 and just to make sure you get the right one make sure it's by fbshare.me Okay, let's click install now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? Yes, we are. And once we have installed it, we can see you've got the four steps here. It says successfully installed the plugin. So I'm just going to return to the plugin installer. Scroll down, go back to plugins. So it's already installed, so it should be on our list of plugins up here. You can see at the top it says plugins. So we're looking for the share count for Facebook and that would be this one right here um, look over to the right you can see it's by fbshare.me now we're going to activate the plugin once the plugin is activated we may want to tweak a little bit of the settings so we're going to scroll down here under settings this little tab on the left of our dashboard we're going to scroll down till we get share count for Facebook click one time on that tab and I'm going to scroll up and down this page and you can see there's just not much to it okay so we're looking at the whole page right now it says share count for Facebook at the top you can pretty much just leave all the defaults the way they are you've got the large at the top you've got location I want it at the top of the blog post not at the bottom or manuals putting it where you want so just leave that at the top wrapper style I want it to float left if you wanted to change that and you want it to float and be on the right hand side of the blog post you would just ch just type in right there and uh, if that was the case you would probably want to change the right margin um, change that to margin left to be 10 pixels instead of margin right so they're going to be the opposite I'm going to change this back to left so it's going to float left it's going to be on the left hand side top of my blog post badge color if you know hexadecimal codes you're going to put in a six digit number there whatever that is that represents a color do not put in it says right there don't put in the pound sign most people are just gonna leave that alone that's for the badge color I call it a the Facebook button share button but they call it a badge or the text now do you want the button to show up on the static pages as well as your post if you do leave that clicked I do not want that to show up on my pages so I'm gonna deselect that 
on this stuff at the bottom, the Google's Analytics parameter, you can leave that unchecked. And you don't need to worry about any of this stuff right down here that says awe.smapi key. You can read that if you are interested. I'm just going to click Save Changes. I don't know if we actually made any changes in a point of fact. Um, I'm going to go scroll up to the left-hand side of the admin panel or dashboard, and I'm just going to right-click. I'm going to click Open Link in New Tab. Now, if you're in a Mac, instead of right-clicking, you're just going to mouse over this and then press on the Control key and then click, and that will give you the drop-down menu. Left-click where it says Open Link in New Tab. And we are back at the home page of my demonstration blog, Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. Now let me scroll down to the second post on this page, adding hyperlinks to WordPress blog posts. You can see in the left-hand corner, there's the Facebook Share Count button. Now I'm going to click on this link here, and this will bring me to the page that contains only this post. And you can see the Facebook Share button. See when, you, when I mouse over to change changes color and this is what it looks like when it's on a post let me go back to the home page now if you look in the first post called test post number seven Florida fishing the button just looks a little different why it looks like this I'm not exactly sure I played around with it I paused the video played around with it never did figure it out but no matter let's go to my actual blog right here, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. This is my real life active blog. And you can see that this is what it looks like. And I've never had problems with the implementation of that plugin on an actual blog site, mine or any of my clients. There's three shares, there's five shares, five, and there's seven. And I'm going to take you to Wendy Blum's blog called What is Your Destiny? You can see that right up here. That's the uh, URL. And I created and designed this blog. And you can see that to the left of where the text is, there's 13 shares using the Facebook share count button. The Power of Focus blog has 13 shares. The Power of Believing has 34 shares. And the power of choice is 15 shares. Now, if I go back up here, now this is going to end up to the left of the text or to the left of the picture, depending on how you installed that picture or uploaded that picture or added that picture to your blog post. So if I click on the title of the blog post, it will bring me to a page with just the blog post in it, that one you will see that that Facebook share count button is still there. And of course, if I click this right here right now, I will end up sharing that particular blog post on my Facebook wall. And that's really all there is to it. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you liked it, please go below, click the like button, add your comments. I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated and have a great day.